Hi guys, I'm Sigir. I will be your host today for this uh, webinar. And I will start by showing you a little video to get you warmed up. And then we're gonna soon play some uh, Kahoot games. So get ready and hola Luciana. It's gonna be in English only today, but uh, Kahoot is just launched in uh, Spanish. So you can get the product in Spanish. So feel free to play the games and um, you can also watch this in recording on our YouTube channel. Hello, Oren from Indonesia. Nice to see you. Good. So I'll show you a video from some of our events and then we'll get started right after that. That was some images from one of our events. And now we're ready to learn a little bit about how to use Kahoot to engage audiences at events. And we are recording this uh, webinar. So for those of you watching now, you can all see it again on our YouTube channel at uh, our Kahoot YouTube channel. And for those of you watching on YouTube now, on demand when we play our Kahoot games, you can join in and play with your own Kahoot challenge pin and try and beat everyone that is watching live right now. So my name is Sigurd Ingstad. I'm the event manager at uh, Kahoot and I've been with Kahoot almost five years now. And so um, it's a long time and I had a lot of fun and I'm gonna share some of the experiences from these five years with you today. So let's get started. Today, you can ask questions and I will answer them as we go. And then we will have an own section in the end of this webinar where um, I will try to answer all the questions. If I can't answer them all, you can email questions to us and we will answer them after the webinar. So I encourage everyone to use the q and I can't see you in the chat. Andre from Romania, nice. But if you want um, me to answer a question, Andre and everyone else, then use the Q&A and we will uh, get to your questions throughout the webinar. So what is Kahoot? Uh, I guess you have an idea, but we'll explain a little bit more today. Kahoot is a learning platform. We are the leader in gamifying learning in the workspace. So our platform makes e-learning, presentations, and training more engaging. And Kahoot is super popular at schools, as you know, but right from the beginning in 2013, it also became very popular with businesses because learning is for everyone in any age, and we are on a mission to make learning awesome for everyone. Uh, this is also our business model. So we are keeping uh, Kahoot free for schools, and that's why businesses and governments pay a little bit every month to keep Kahoot free for teachers and young students. Okay, so what is this magic that is Kahoot? It's a little bit of um, learning and fun and socializing at the same time. So it's about uh, having fun while you're learning and you're in a social setting either in a room or these days also virtually. And these small moments, five to 10 minutes, it's up to you to put them in the right place. I like to use Kahoot as a warm up, and in two minutes, we will play the first Kahoot game to get you all warmed up. And I don't know all your names, so I will also use this as an icebreaker. 
to get to know you better because you can put your nicknames in the Kahoot and I will see your names. I will also check if you learned something today. So I can use Kahoot as a little bit of a test to see if you're paying attention to what I'm saying. We will also use something called player ID today. That means that you need to log in with a pin, email, and then your nickname. It's only your nickname that is going on the screen, but I can see all your emails and that makes me able to track your performance over time. And I can look and see where I need to repeat something that I said. But for you, the participant, player ID is great because now you're accumulating points throughout this event. And in the end, we will have a final and the winner will get one year of Kahoot 360 Pro and the Kahoot goodie bag. So we're going to do a tournament throughout this event. And that's a great way to use Kahoot. And in the end of the event, we're going to find out who is the winner. So it's a great way to wrap up an event. So those are some good moments to use the Kahoot. So how can we play? There are two ways to play a Kahoot game and you can start them as many times as you want. Today, we're going to play live with you. And when you play live, it's all about sharing your screen and playing at the same time. We also have a different way to play. So if you're uh, looking at this and watching this uh, webinar on YouTube in um, a rerun or on demand later, you can play these games with us as a Kahoot challenge. So this is a game where you control the tempo. It's a self-paced Kahoot game. And as a host, you, the organizer, can assign these via email or social media. You can send them out to anyone and they can be played at any time from anywhere. In this case, players get the questions and the alternatives all on the same device. So that's unique to the Kahoot challenge. While the Kahoot live game that we are about to play, you need two devices. One social screen where you're gonna see the questions and alternatives, and then you need a second device to answer. So you can get ready now. We're gonna play this first game soon, and you will need two devices to play, one to watch this webinar and the other one to respond. So how can we gamify an event? Well, you can make your um, event memorable, as we said, through an icebreaker or to run a company-wide tournament, and you can also get feedback. You can run a survey or a poll, you can have a brainstorming, or you can use word clouds. And we're gonna try some of these things right now. So get your phone out, I will share my screen, and then we will start the first round in our Kahoot tournament. The first game is called uh, Kahoot for Events, the demo game. And I activated Player Identifier. It's a feature that we started in October last year, and it's available in all our premium plans. All our premium subscriptions have Player Identifier. Okay, get ready to log in. Do you have what it takes? Join our live Kahoot. Okay, I'm going to log in myself as well, but I will not try to win, I promise. So now you take out your phone or any other device, go to the browser and go to kahoot.it. You can log in with the game pin 67970. And Juani, you were the first one. Well done. Also notice that uh, the Kahoot logo is gone from this screen. So up here, you can replace the Kahoot logo with your logo, and you will see the same thing on your device when you're logging in. So this is also a feature that is only available in our premium plans, our best plans. All right, we have Seeing Played, Harry, Claire, Om, Fiona. We have Eddie. Amy, so many great players. I'm gonna log in just to see if I do remember the answers. But as I said, I will promise you not to win. And on the video, you can see some examples from events where they have used Kahoot 
So pay attention to the video because I'm going to ask you some questions about this video. Let's go. You can have your logo in the intro and you can still log in during this first word cloud. I want to know where you're playing from. So type the name of your city and tell me where you're playing from today. A lot of cities flying in and some are from the same city. And this is also a bigger word. You're not alone in these cities. Notice in the bottom that the pin is always there. So you can still log in using this pin. Huntington, California, Zurich in Switzerland, San Jose, Halifax, Ireland, Philadelphia, Bucharest, hello Romania, Argentina, Oslo, Seattle in Washington, and then Costa Rica, Hamden, Denver, Germany, Fort Worth in Texas, Nashville, Singapore, and Dayton. Welcome to all of you. Now I know a little bit more about you. And um, in uh, Texas, we have an office. In Austin, we have uh, six people and we are growing. And this is also where Kahoot was launched in 2013 during the South by Southwest education trade show there. So welcome Fort Worth, Texas. You are very close to one of our offices and our main office is in Oslo. So let's get on with the game and now you can score points. Remember, you can still log in if you're joining us now. The pin is always in the bottom of the screen. Okay, what is this game? I have a video here and you can look at the pictures because I'm gonna ask you some questions about these events. We can see some basketball here, some motocross, a YouTuber, and we see a festival, an airport, this is Copenhagen, a rock concert, TV show. And this is me on a football event. And then we have the Game of Thrones event. So let's look at the questions about these events. Now you can select more than one correct. Why was Qt used during the freestyle motocross event? You have to guess they are not all correct, but you can select more than one if you want. Do you think the audience could vote for the best driver? Was it for fan engagement? Was it to learn more about the riders? Or was it just to kill some time? Click one, two, three, or four alternatives, and then click submit. You can get up to a thousand points per correct answer. And there were two correct answers. Well done. If you look at the picture, you can see that the motocross riders, they have the Kahoot colors on their shirts. So during this event, audience could vote for the best rider in the freestyle trick, best trick contest. And the best rider went through to the next round. So this was very creative and you nailed it. And of course it was fan engagement. In this case, they could not learn more about who the riders were other than the colors. Let's see who got some points. Well done, Fiona. And Joanne, you were the first one to log in and now you're number two. Let's do another question. All right, you can select more than one. Why did the Milwaukee Bucks use Q during their home games? Did they vote for the best player? Was it for fan engagement? Did the fans learn more about the players? Or was it to give away match tickets? done oh a lot of you thought it was match tickets but if you look at the picture they could win a thousand dollars during every half time so it was not match tickets but it was fan engagement and they learned more about the profiles from this super team in the nba so they could not vote for the best player here and this is just to get your minds going and be a little bit creative about what you can do at your event when you're using Kahoot. let's see some points Fiona is still in the lead. Well done. Joanne still in second place. 
It's exciting. Okay, let's do another one. Now you can use only one. Choose only one. What's the name of this YouTuber? He's the biggest YouTuber in the world. And you see an old picture of him here. He's using Kahoot. He was uh, given access to a very large Kahoot, as you can see. And right now, the max limit is 2,000 players. He has more than 8,000 players in his game back then. And his name is, of course, PewDiePie. Let's see who knew the name of the Swedish YouTuber. Fiona, you got it. Well done. Johanne, you are in fourth now. Eddie and Amy, you're on the podium. We have a couple more questions. Triple target, highest climber, well done. All right, three more questions. What was the number one reason why HBO used Kahoot for their premiere of Game of Thrones? It's just one thing you can choose. things but the number one thing was to find the number one expert so they did promote they did give away tickets to the theater and they gave away unbuyable prices but the number one reason why HBO wanted to do this was to find out who in this market was the best super fan with the most knowledge of Game of Thrones let's see who got it Ooh, we have a new number three so now you climbed a lot, triple target. I don't know your name, but I do have your email. And we have more rounds, so maybe you are the winner in total. We have two more questions. This is a word cloud. I'm gonna ask you, what do you wanna learn about today? What do you want to learn more about during this webinar? You have only 30 seconds, so you can type one word or two words, and we will have a look and get an idea about what you want to learn more about. Oh, we have a lot of stuff. And one word is bigger. I'm very curious now. How to engage the audience, team play, maximize the use of Kahoot, event management, good stuff. How to set up games, we will show you. Player ID, I love it. Games for groups, maximum engagement, and participant engagement. It's all about engagement here. And um, we will cover that. We have one question left. And um, then we will find out who the winner is. Now we can type the answer for double points. What's the name of this BBC TV show? This is a TV show from the UK. And it should have some sound. Okay, we, I'm not sure why it's not playing the sound. You should just look at the show. Tell me what you think. It's only two letters. And it's a famous TV show that used Kahoot. This could be a game breaker. Oh, you can see the letters on her papers a little bit. So that's a clue there. And this is a picture of a car. And there was um, UEFA who gave away this during the European Championships in football. This was the first prize in a Kahoot tournament that UEFA did. So the winner of the Kahoot during one month got a car. Okay, we have some answers. Let's see what you said. Two letters, no ID, no clue, nice tie, QI, IQ. It is, no one knew. Sorry, we didn't have any Brits in. Okay, let's have a look at the podium. The winners. In third place, it's triple target. Eddie, you made it to the second place. And the winner with 2,469, it's Fiona. Well done, Fiona. JM and Amy are runners up. Well, you will um, keep your scores. 
and then you will be able to um, play another round later in the webinar. Well done, everyone. So we're going to jump back to our presentation now. And then we're going to talk about how to host Kahoot remotely. I saw some of you wanted me to talk about um, virtual training, and this is how you do it. So let's get started. So with Kahoot, you can host live, and you can present and host via video conferencing, just like I'm doing now. You can connect everyone, and everyone can engage, and everyone, like you saw, can um, write something in the word cloud or interact with you through Kahoot. Uh, you can bring together distributed or remote teams or your whole organization. So this is truly a global um, tool. Kahoot can be used to bring people together around the world on a video call. So the live audience participation and interaction in video conferences and webinars and meetings could be done with Kahoot and it's a very cost efficient learning. So you don't need to travel, you don't need the hotels and no meals. You can meet more often and you can save money by using a video conferencing tool and Kahoot to meet and engage and teach and learn from each other. So what are the tools we can use? You can use all the tools, Teams, Slack, Hangout, Zoom, Skype, WebEx, all of them uh, are compatible and um, easy to use with Kahoot. So how can you do that? Well, I'll show you. It's the share button. And I forgot to share my sound. So there's a small circle there uh, where you need to remember to share your sound because uh, Kahoot has great sound effects. So all you have to do is to open up Kahoot and Kahoot lives in your browser. So you log in to your Kahoot account in your web browser, like Google Chrome, for example. And then when you're ready, you share your screen. As, it long, as long as everyone can see the pin, they can log in. So that's how you use Kahoot in video conferencing. Same way as you use PowerPoint, you just share your screen. If they can see the pin, then they can log in. Um, it's uh, a webinar that we're on now um, that we are recording. And I will mention this again, because some people will be watching this later. And uh, then you can use Kahoot again, and you can uh, use the Kahoot challenge, and you can assign the game to them so they can play later. So we are playing live right now, but you can actually start the game and play again. And then everyone who watches this later can try and beat all of you. And this is great for a company hosting a big event, because as we know, not everyone can come to the event if you have 500 or 600 people, always someone missing. And these people can get a recording of your event and then the Kahoot, they can get it as a Kahoot self-paced game. And I will teach you how to do that later. So this is great. Uh, and we can remind you about uh, q and It was mentioned there as well. And you can also use Kahoot, of course, for um, feedback like we saw in the word cloud where I asked you what you want to learn today. Let's talk more about the player identifier. I think it's the coolest feature that we have ever made. <laughs> it's my favorite. We um, launched it in October last year. And with the player identifier, you can uh, request email address from everyone that is playing. Everyone's playing for free, but if you want to start a game with player identifier, they can log in with pin, email, and then their nickname. Just the nickname going on the screen, but you as a host, you can get all their emails. And this is great for trade shows. If you want to show a big game virtually, you can harvest a lot of emails using a Kahoot. You can also choose to um, ask them for something else. So you can define whatever you want to get from the participants, but it has to be uh, a short string of um, characters. So I would recommend the um, phone number or the email address. That's the easiest. Could also be employee number for internal events. So what's great about this uh, as a host and an organizer? Well, you will know everything about the people that played. You can track their progress over time. 
and you can assess the learning impact. So you can see immediately uh, how much they picked up during the sessions. And you might also want to repeat something that you see a lot of people that missed the question during a Kahoot. You can actually go on and talk about this topic and repeat it because it's obvious that uh, one speaker didn't communicate well enough. What is great for the participant? Well, you will know in a moment because when we play the final game, uh, we can find out who is the winner in total. So as the participant, the great thing with player identifier is that you can accumulate your points to multiple Kahoot games. So that's a good incentive for the players to go to all the Kahoot sessions. Good stuff. So um, we're gonna give you some tips and resources now, and then we're gonna jump to your questions. So just keep the questions coming in the Q&A section, and I will get to those in a moment. So this is a new feature that is called Images as Answers. And you know, for many years you could play Kahoot where you had to choose uh, different words in the multiple choice quiz. Now you can have pictures instead of text. So this is great when you're trying to get to know each other. Maybe you're a big team. Maybe you have some new coworkers in your team. And how nice it is to be able to put images there so people can try and recognize, in this case, who the head of HR is. So images as answers. I uh, encourage you to try it out. It's a lot of fun. Then we have um, the ability to switch the host. So as you might see, I'm not um, controlling this deck right now. My coworker and colleague um, Evelyn is helping me. And the same thing goes for Kahoot. The Kahoot expert can share his or her screen all the time, but you can have different hosts. And people like to listen to the expert in the field of expertise of what this Kahoot is about. But that doesn't mean that everybody all the different people need to start the game and share their screen. You can have one dedicated person throughout your event that shares the Kahoot, but you can have a lot of different hosts, and that's a great thing. Uh, I have to remind you though that the host will need an, a manuscript, so that when the host reads a question, that's when um, the um, Kahoot expert sharing the screen remembers to start the next question. So use a manuscript, that's another great tip. Okay, selfie Kahoots. This is one of our most popular Kahoots in Kahoots. And whenever we have a new coworker, they always make a selfie Kahoot. It's normally 10 questions about your personality and who you are. And everybody joins in to have fun, try to guess your hobbies and how many siblings you have and where you went to school. And after the game, we learn a little bit more about a new employee. So a selfie Kahoot is a great way to start. And for events, it could be a good way to introduce a new member of the leadership. Maybe you have a new boss. Maybe you have someone new that you want everybody to get to know in the event. Or if you have a celebrity uh, and then bring the celebrity on stage to introduce this person, you can use a selfie Kahoot. Think about it for your next event. All right, that was some hints and tips. And now uh, we will soon go to your questions. So you can just write them in the Q&A section. Um, we want to uh, give you some more information. And obviously at kahoot.com forward slash business, you can find a lot of success stories. Our customers are so willing to share their experiences with others. So the best events, they get the chance to go on our blog. And uh, maybe you can find a company there that already did something that you are thinking about doing for your next event. So go to the customer success stories and read about case studies and what other companies don't have done in the past using Kahoot for their event. And I really like these uh, short guide videos, tutorials, if you will. They're on YouTube and you can easily find Kahoot on YouTube. We have a lot of videos. So look for the playlist in our channel that says tutorials. That's the good one. You can uh, learn about anything and uh, all the videos are less than one minute. So it's a really quick way to learn about features. Another page that is great is the one to the right here. 
support.kahoot.com. That's the one I use whenever I'm stuck. There's so much fun things to do in Kahoot. And even though I've been there five years, uh, I sometimes have to use this page. You can search for anything. And if Kahoot has it, it will find it there and it will solve your problem. And it's much faster than um, contacting uh, support. We have a great support service that you can use, but sometimes it's faster to just look it up yourself. And we encourage all of you to follow us on LinkedIn. And if you had a great experience about Kahoot, please share it there so you can inspire others. And if you're in a big company, sometimes other people in your company will find it on LinkedIn. We've seen that many times. So make sure to brag about your Kahoot experience on LinkedIn. Good. So this is a time where I can answer some of your questions and then we will play another round of Kahoot after that. So Juan asks, is there a plan to have only one Kahoot event with a group for less than 100 people? Yes, we are launching new one-time event plans and it's coming soon, either in one or two weeks. I can't tell you exactly when it's coming, but um, we have one-time plans coming. And that's a little bit of the reason why we're doing this webinar today, to get you all inspired before we launch Kahoot one-time plans for events. And we have one specifically for your use, uh, Juan, where you can have the best features for less than um, 100 people. And then you can uh, save some money if you're not sure whether you want to go on with Kahoot forever. Do the event, and after the event, you can decide whether you want to continue with one, yearly plan of Kahoot, maybe another one of plan uh, or something else. So it's a great way to start if you have a lot of people in your first Kahoot, it's the Kahoot one-time plan. Luciana, Luciana is asking, what plan do you have to choose to be able to use the games that they already have armed to play with the people of an online company? So with games that are already uh, made, we have 100 million games actually that companies and uh, experts made and they are so generous that they set the games to public. You as a company, of course, can create a Kahoot game and keep it private just to yourself. Uh, but if you wanna explore something we call Discover, that's our page where you can search, just like in YouTube, for anything. I searched for the city of Washington yesterday and I found 900,000 Kahoot games mentioning Washington. So you can find anything. And you can play uh, online um, with these games. That's true, Luciana. All these games are free for you to use as soon as you have a Kahoot account. 100 million games. Alexia. Alexia is asking about the spot for logos. Interesting. Is that for the host of the Kahoot or for all the players? Good question. So I don't know if you saw, Alexia, when you logged in, the logo was actually on your phone. So you're able to put the logo of your company on all the phones of all the participants that are playing for free. So that's one great place. But it's also in the lobby on the big screen that everyone is seeing. So that's another place that you see it. And then you can see it in the intro. Remember, it was bigger. And then on the leaderboard and the podium. So throughout the whole game, the Kahoot logo will be gone. And it will only be your company's logo if you use this. And this is available in our topmost plans. So for instance, Kahoot 360 Pro, you will find this branding that you can remove the Kahoot logo and put your company logo in there instead. So it's for everybody. And Alexia, again, uh, we would like to use Kahoot for a trivia event. The people on the Zoom will be working in teams. We would like them to discuss, and uh, we will have them in breakout rooms. But in breakout rooms, they won't hear the commentary. Is that right? Do you have any suggestions for how to do team play live when everybody's zooming in? Or is there another video conferencing tool that would work better? Oh, that's a great question, Alexia. And we've been doing a lot of this, helping um, customers and companies to get some team spirit going because this is what we're missing during the pandemic, right? And it's too bad that none of the video conferencing tools have the sound and the video from the main room once you are in the little room. But once you are in the small room, it's easier to talk with each other, right? So that's when the discussions are going. So what we're doing 
is that we like to give people some tasks that they can solve. And um, in the next game, I have some anagrams. That means a word where I have rearranged the letters. And then you have to think, what is this letter? And I'm giving you some clues. These are the examples of things that uh, your teams can discuss in the breakout rooms. And then when you bring them back to the Kahoot, they will be able to type in the answers. Right now, they will still be in individuals, uh, but uh, they can work as a team. And you know, all the Kahoot games that you play, uh, the results go in the reports. And the reports, you can export as an Excel file, a spreadsheet with all the data. And if you like, you can ask them to write a little team name, and then you have to accumulate the scores for them. So I love teamwork, and I love the idea of breakout rooms. And it's a little bit tricky to send them in and out. So usually we just do it in the beginning, before the game, that we give them a couple of questions before the game starts, and then they can discuss in the breakout rooms, come back in the big room, log into the code, and then enter the answers. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, but I know that we are working on improving team mode, and I hope that Zoom or Microsoft Teams or some of the other video conferencing systems will be able to show Kahoot in the breakout rooms really soon. So that was a great question, actually. I hope you liked my workaround. And then Eddie, the largest company you have done for a virtual event. Well, we work with all the large companies. Uh, I know that Google had five, six thousand and, you know, a lot of big events that uh, have been using Kahoot. You can look in our success stories for all our customers that were willing to talk about their successful event. Uh, the limit for the players is 2,000 per room. But you can, of course, split them up into multiple rooms virtually, and then you can combine the reports because that's the magic of player ID, that you can combine reports like I'm going to show you in the end of today's session. Alexia is also wondering how long it takes the leaderboard report to load. That's not so long. The longest I've seen is 15 seconds. So that's almost instantly. And Fiona, is the best practice to give the Kahoot code in advance for participants or wait till you start the meeting? It is best to, uh, when they see the pin, they can log in. So that's only when they're, you are ready for them to play that you start the pin. The pin doesn't live so long. Uh, the pin is just for that game and a good Kahoot game is five to 10 minutes. So it's only fresh and valid for that round. What you need to give them in advance is of course the meeting link for your video conferencing um, or webinar. But the pin, uh, it's better to not give the, to them early because it will not work. So just share your screen, they see the pin and then they log in. Olga is asking, would it be possible to integrate Kahoot on a big virtual platform, um, mainly self-paced? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, self-paced games can be put there and they can live for a month. So uh, I've seen a lot of companies do this and uh, I really like it, Olga. So you can um, paste these uh, self-paced Kahoot links on a virtual conference um, website and then people can pick and choose and play and you will have all the results on your, um, on your reports. So look at YouTube, the Kahoot channel, how to make a challenge, start and assign a Kahoot challenge. That's where you see how you make the links, put the links on the big virtual uh, conference that you're making and people can pick and choose and play in their own time. It's more fun to play live but it's a great opportunity and a great tool to also make them able to play whenever they want. Nick Jasmine, is it possible to customize color and music in Kahoot? Yeah, I can show you a little bit how that is done. We're gonna play another game soon. Then I can um, change the music. And also if you put a YouTube video in the lobby, then it's a YouTube sound that you're hearing when people are logging in. So um, colors, uh, they are changing a little bit themselves. Of course, you can use the pictures and the images to create your company's look and feel, to be on brand. And uh, we are working on improving branding every year. Juan is back. 
is there a way to schedule the games to be distributed within one hour so that the games should take no more than one hour and the audience should be able to play them all in one hour? Yes. That's uh, how the Kahoot self-paced game works, that you set a deadline. And there have been a lot of questions about this, so I will actually show you uh, after the game how you start a self-paced challenge. Great question, Juan. I will show you in a minute. That was Q&A, and you can keep them coming. I'll see what I can do, but now we have some more information, and then we have um, another game coming up. Um, so um, here is the information, and we've been talking a lot about uh, features today, and uh, how could you find the right plan for you? This, these are our plans that work for a whole year. And the first thing you need to look for is how many players am I expecting to show up in my game? Um, and then once you find your room size, the maximum player limit is in the top. You have to check, do I have all the features that I want? For instance, player identifier, you will find only under the 360 plans. And then self-paced challenges in an email is also in the 360 plans. So make sure you check that you have all the features that you need. Another thing we um, have been talking about today is branding. That's also uh, only available in our um, uh, best plans. And then um, this is how you navigate when you find pricing. I told you earlier that part of the reason why we're doing this webinar is that we're gonna launch Kahoot one-time plans for events. So that means you can get a plan it will work for one event only, up to a week. You will have three months in total to use Kahoot to get to know Kahoot. Uh, but within those three months, there's only one week that you can play with more than 20 players. So that's coming soon. But those plans will look a little bit like these plans. Difference is they are for one event and they will, um, you will be charged only once. So that's great news and good stuff to come. Okay, we have some more information and I'm gonna show you the Kahoot challenge. Uh, but first, <laughs> we're gonna play another game and then we'll find out who's the winner in total. We're giving away Kahoot 360 Pro, our best plan for a whole year to the winner and a Kahoot goodie bag. So I'm sharing my screen and I'm showing you game number two and that's uh, the logo quiz. And the reason why I chose the logo quiz today is that that was the most popular game when I started with Hewlett Packard in, in Kahoot. And um, here you can see the logo that you talked about. Um, this can be replaced with your logo, of course. And when you log in, you should also see this your logo thing on your device. So this will pop up on your device. And when we start the game, it will also appear on um, the intro and on the leaderboards. So we'll give you all a chance to log in and then we'll combine the, re the results. I mean, oh, Fiona, you have some points. Eddie, you have a lot of points. But anyone can still win because this game is longer. So I will start the game in um, 10 seconds. Remember, you can still log in during the word cloud. All right, let's go. So here's your logo again. And we're going to do the logo quiz. And you can still log in. The pin is in the bottom of the screen. So how do you like this webinar so far? Please be honest and get inspired by the Smiley face in the middle. And uh, I'm also doing this so that you can still log in. Go to kahoot.it in your browser, type the pin, your email, and then your nickname. This is a great technique for you. If you have an event with a lot of players, you cannot wait for a thousand people to log in. Uh, but when you reach maybe half of them, then you can start a word cloud. And during the word cloud, 
the rest will log in because the pin is in the bottom of the screen. So I'm doing this to teach you a little bit how to play with large audiences. A word cloud in the beginning makes everybody able to log in. Let's see what you thought so far. You think it's interesting? Woohoo! <laughs> Good. Thumbs up. Excellent. Love it. Informative. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Makes me really happy. I'm going to give you so many points now. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to play? We're going to play the logo quiz. And you have to rearrange letters and find company names. And all these company names that we're going to play are companies that are using Kahoot as well. So that's a little bit uh, nice to see that a lot of the big companies around the world are using Kahoot. So remember this, look at the picture, look at the letters, rearrange the letters and find the company name. There's a hint in the picture and in the letters. So these are anagrams. First letters, Lappe. How can you make a company name out of Lappe? And the logo is here. It was me that said Google. That means you all did it. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Let's see who was the fastest. It was Teddy Bear in front of Andre, Bell, Claire, and Anne. Well done. Next company. Ritet. Look at the logo. What is Ritet? Some people still logging in. That's good. Twitter. That was Twitter. Who was quick? Teddy bear. No, teddy bear is gone. Claire, Bell, Alexia. Well done. Let's do another one. Skoglekl. Answer was of course Kellogg's, and I answer McDonald's. So that means you all did it. Well done. But this was a little bit too easy. Bell is leading. It's got to be more difficult than this. So now we're changing the rules. Now you have to type in the answer. I'm giving you the letters, and now you have to type in the answer. Ooh, you got to be quick. Are you ready? Said the creme. You see the logo? You're playing for a whole year of cahoots. It's worth $720 and the cahoot goodie bag. Almost a thousand dollars worth of prizes. Let's see who did it. Mercedes Benz. Oh, that was close. 19 people got it. Well done. Bell, you're so fast. Andre, Fiona, I can see you want a free Kahoot 360 Pro subscription. Let's do another one. This time is Sip Up. So uh, Alexia, can you see how um, these are examples of um, things you can do in the breakout rooms if you give them four or five anagrams and also if those words have something to do with what they're supposed to learn, they can have a lot of fun in the breakout rooms solving these anagrams and then you can bring them into the Kahoot later. So that's how you can use breakout rooms. Give them a task, put them in the Kahoot later and then you can log in and then they can perform. And if you want to combine scores later, then they need to uh, write their team name in their nickname. All right, 
Alexia, you're in third now. Hope that answered your question. Next one. Oh, Shrekins. I know that one. Shrekins. Look at the picture. It's a Shrekins. <laughs> Snickish, I love how someone wrote it in Norwegian. <laughs> All right, Snickers, it is. Points two. Oh, it's the same story in the top. We need to do one more. First, who do you think will win? <laughs> I know the answer to this because I've been asking this question a lot. And this word here, the most important word in any competition. It's always bigger than team. It is, of course, me. <laughs> Figured. Me will win. Let's hope me will win. We'll find out. Last question coming up. All right, double points. The word is to hack. Look at the logo. Can you guess what it is? Exclamation mark to hack. It was Tony Hawk. <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay, you'll see a winner now, but that's not the winner of the Kahoot 360 Pro subscription. This is the winner of this game. So we could give a big round of applause. Oops. Let's go back. I will combine the scores now. I'll do it right away. I skipped the podium. So We'll show you how to do this, and then I'll show you how to um, do a Kahoot challenge. So we played the events demo game and the logo quiz, and we used player identifier. So if you sort in your reports by player identifier, you will find those two games. So I can click both of them because now I want to combine them to find the combined winner. So this is the webinar final. Podium. And it takes a couple of seconds and then it will end up here in the combined reports. Here it is. And then it says something about you did well. We have two games in here. Someone needed help. We will mention them. It was a difficult question there. But we're just interested in this tournament podium. Who will win Kahoot 360 Pro? for one year and a Kahoot goodie bag. The winners are, the only one will get the prize. In third, it's Eddie. JM in second. And the winner with 9,483 points, it's... Fiona! Well done, Fiona. Well done. That was so good. And uh, I will show you how I can contact Fiona. Or maybe I shouldn't show the email to everyone, but um, in this uh, final podium, in this player's um, setup, we have all the emails. So that's how I can contact Fiona. And now I can show you how to um, play um, self-paced Kahoot because we have all these um, games. And I think you liked the um, demo game and the logo quiz. So we can actually play again here. So if you choose play again, and this time we can play 
as a challenge. So yeah, I can assign a self-paced game here instead of playing live. And here comes the deadline that you were all asking about. And you wanted one hour. So right now it's six o'clock here. So that would be seven o'clock for me. But since I'm giving this game to you, I'm gonna give you all a week. So next Thursday, you have to be, um, or two weeks, next two weeks, Thursday in two weeks. So this is how I start a self-paced Kahoot, also called a challenge. And then I create it. And now it becomes a report. So I can watch all you guys play right away. And the pin is here and the link is here. So I can copy this link and I can put it in the chat for you. And you can all share it with your friends and coworkers, and they can try to beat you in the Kahoot events demo game. So you can all grab this link in the chat now, and this is how you make a Kahoot challenge. Good, so we are almost done, and we can do this in an hour if we are quick. So Evelyn has just got uh, some um, info. Uh, if you have more questions, you can uh, go to um, your email and send us the question and send it to business at kahoot.com. And then if you want to see how much this costs, you go to kahoot.com forward slash business, forward slash pricing, it's very easy to find. And then once again, follow us on LinkedIn because that's a good way to stay in touch with all our new features uh, and uh, just uh, get updates from Kahoot. Also on kahoot.com, you have a news button now where all our new features are coming. And in a couple of weeks, we have the new Kahoot one-time events plans ready for you guys. So check in, check back in with us uh, next week and the week after, and then we will uh, have a big launch coming up where you can choose all our best events plan for one-time use. Thank you all for attending. Send an email to business at kahoot.com if you have more questions and see you all next time. Bye-bye.